and and like I say, Erica Badu was one of, is one of the largest artists, one of them that we have here for me. I, I go to the elevator in Vegas or Cali or wherever, and I'm gonna hear, oh, on and on and on and on. Right. Oh, oh, no, no, no. My life keeps like a <laughs> you know, I'm gonna hear that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Well, I want I want to go back first. Okay. Okay. You know, because we left off with, with with Erica's deal, so we yeah. we, we See, had. Yeah, we had, yeah, we, yeah. You know, you're right, we, man. We, we, I, I wanted to ask a question. We, cut me off, dog. Right. You gotta dog, remember I, what it I is. Can't even remember it now. <laughs> I, it, 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 but, but I know what I what it was. It was I wanted to know what how, what kind of numbers, numbers. that y'all did. Right. That, you know, far as and it was on Facebook. Right. But I remember some astronomical numbers that right. we had spoke about. Right. And just how much of an impact did you when you seen that? And like, damn, you know, so that the, was our first time, right? The, really, not the first it. time, but the second time that we did. She had like Dave Chappelle and all this, and she was like, hey. Let's, I'm gonna let you, let you do this again this year, and we're gonna take it a step further. So wow. the first time was like she allowed us to do like three songs or something live. She's seen that, and this, the next year she's like, okay, let's step it up. And that that were you know we didn't do any marketing anything. It was like over a million people from all over the world hit just, that boom. Hit it. And then we compared that right at that time. Kendrick Lamar did a deal with with uh, American Express. They beat us by a million views, but the engagement that we had. On that, with Erica was stupid. Was way more. It mm -hmm. blew them away. We didn't have no marketing budgets, American wow. Express behind it, and that's where I knew I was on to something, and I knew this was the future, moving forward in a lot of ways. Right? It's you know the pay per views are not meant for everything. Um, I mean, I'll just put people on some game, like, and I've been trying to make it happen, young boy. Uh, <laughs> you know, say three three. You need to get this deal done. But just imagine, you know, NBA young boy. Tell all, all your listeners right now, if we had NBA young boy house arrest concert for nineteen ninety nine, would you not buy in right now? Oh yeah, they we break the fucking internet, right? Easy. So, so it's those type of situations that I see that what the artists and stuff are not understanding is that. We're cutting all the TV networks out. We don't need them. Fuck, if you're sitting over here with 40 million fans, you know, if we can only tap 5% of the 40 million, listen to what I'm telling you. And That's big. And it's not unrealistic. And then yeah. people are like, oh, I wouldn't pay for that or I wouldn't do this. Well, you're not my client. Because some and people you're not my feel target. Like you're not my target audience. I'm looking for the super fan. Because the some super people fan will pay. Some people feel like, okay, you get more of a vibe when you're there at the concert because you can feel the vibe a lot better right. compared to just watching it on TV. But you're offering them a cheaper price watching it on TV than Come if on. they went on to the concert. Right. It'd be way more to pay right. to go to the concert rather than watching it on TV. But, but you're going to give them a better experience through that pay-per-view. Like right. if you went and look back at Boosie Gone Bad, you would never see that at a Boosie concert anywhere, anywhere. That's right. Hey, let me let me let me. We can all as a as a community watch Sunday football for free, mm -hmm. right? Or you can pay two hundred dollars to go down the Cowboy game, plus parking, drinks, food, whatever. I'll stay at home. Right. Boom. But but wouldn't you say you get a better experience at home on the flat screen than you do at the stadium? Now now hold on, that's no, true. <laughs> you, you you're gonna have two different experiences. As I'm about to say, right? it just depends on but, what you want to you know, experience. Because right. I heard somebody talk about that earlier today. They said that if you want to go to the game, not for the game, then go right. to the game because right. that's really what you're gonna go. Right. You're gonna go for the partying, the networking, the everything. If right. that's what you do at the game, right? You don't really see the game. That's it. And then you don't hear the commentators and right, the instant everything. replays. And you know what I mean? So you're, you're getting two different experiences when you go to the concert mm -hmm. and when you're at home. Exactly. You know, me, I'm that dude that's at home watching TV and get that experience. Wow. And I, and I agree with you. So, and, and like I say, Erica Badu was one of, is one of the largest artists, one of them that we have here for me. I, I go to the elevator in Vegas or Cali or wherever, and I'm gonna hear, oh, on and on, and on and on. Right. Oh, oh, no, no, no. My life keeps moving like a rolling stone. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna hear that. No, so that's, so, 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 queen. so, the so queen. all those, I love so you. I was going back to all those concerts we shot, and people are like, oh, they're not getting paid nothing. They're dumb motherfuckers, this, that, and another. But at the end of the day, that built our resume. So when we did sit down and were introduced to her, this is what we've done. And that's right. what led that 
relationship grow. And she took a risk in giving us a chance to do that. I mean, I always will be, Erica gave us that first. Very grateful. I, I got to ask you this. Uh, every time I go, we'll go to your uh, 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 office, I will see a picture of DOC. Shout out DOC. We just had him on here right. about a couple of weeks ago. You been you know, watching yeah, that one? No, I didn't. You know, then you DOC. You got to see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. DOC yeah. interview went hard right here. Right. I just want to uh, just uh, dive into how, how did he end up sitting there and how did you even get that picture? With DOC? Yeah. That was just word of mouth and stuff that happened. You know, because I actually met DOC prior to meeting Erica. Really? Mm. Yeah. Where'd uh, you meet DOC some, at? Through, through some other friends and, okay. you know, producers, because okay. that's what he does. You know what I'm saying? So, that you know, we had, he had come over and got introduced and we sort of hit it off and, you know, it, it went from there. But, you know, our relationship with him was always separate from, from, from you know, our relationship with Erica type deal. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and then how we were introduced to Erica, right? It was through totally different group of people and you know but we've got relationships with them both and but i can see know, that happening rocking. because they're huge they're huge artists yeah they're huge uh legendary uh, legendary right. you know so that that right. makes it's sense the formula when knowledge and the talent that my mother had born to her equals a duck what is it Trey? yo man that's the formula <laughs> hey, and I, I want to say, my <laughs> and I want to say congratulations to Erica for getting the key to Dallas, right? Because that was really big, right? No, not to Dallas, sorry, to Deep Ellum, right? That's what they awarded her on her birthday, and congratulations, right. congrats, You're well, congrats, well congrats from Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Yeah, she could take that deal anywhere, you know. So it's Definitely. cool that she keeps that here in the community and stuff I know, like that. She so represents you know, Dallas like to. The, the fullest. fullest. Right. Yeah, and then she just did the whole fashion that, you know, mm -hmm. a fashion shoot deal was massive. Massive. Know, but she just, you know, she's always, you know, she's. I love it. She's, she's there. She's there. Yeah, it's Erica. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.